Jason Hoppy here. Today I want to show you how to create <clears throat> that funnel that you see in space when you're watching some program on TV about space-time or a black hole and they show that grid, that funnel, how you can funnel through space-time. And it's actually pretty easy to create. Trying to draw it is almost impossible, but creating it in Illustrator, super easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a very tall oval. I'm going to use my direct selection tool to select the left hand point and simply delete that so that I get this shape. I'm going to select the tape shape with my selection tool. Go under Effect, 3D, Revolve. It's going to call up my 3D Revolve panel. Click on the Preview button to see what's going on. Looks like a pill, simply because we need to set this to render from the right-hand edge to create this funnel. Now this little teeny convergence zone here where it comes through can be adjusted by simply clicking on the offset and setting that to be a little bit larger. Now if you'd like a funnel that comes down and then just comes straight, simply go in and edit your curve of your arc here to become straight all the way through. Great, there's our funnel. Now what I'd like to do is create the grid structure that's going to go on that funnel. So I'm going to grab my rectangular grid tool and draw a grid. Now when I draw the grid, up arrow can add dividers, down arrow takes them away, and same with the right arrow, that adds, and the left arrow takes them away as well. So I'm going to create a grid structure, and with this, the color of the grid structure is what we're going to end up seeing. We're not going to see the funnel. That's going to become completely invisible. So whatever color you make the funnel doesn't matter. What matters is the grid structure here. So I'm going to pick a color that I'd like my structure to be, and I'm going to apply a stroke color to it, no fill. And in my symbols panel, which you can get under the window menu, I'm going to take my grid structure and I'm going to drag it into my symbols and add this to my symbols panel because symbols are what I use to map my artwork to my 3D image. So now that I have my grid structure in the symbols panel, I'm going to go back and select my funnel into the appearance panel, click on the 3D revolve to bring out my 3D revolve. I'm going to click on the map artwork button and I'm going to choose the symbol that I would like to apply to this face. I'm going to click the scale to fit, and it's going to stretch that to fit my entire artwork. But here's the trick. I want to click on the invisible geometry, which is going to lose the shape of the actual funnel. So all I'm seeing is this scale, or this grid effect that I applied. Click OK. Now I can render this in any direction just simply by rotating this cube and seeing how this will go through and create my awesome effect. There it is. Now, if I'd like to change any attributes of this, I can go back to my symbols panel, double click on my symbol, and I could select my entire symbol here. I could change the color. I can change the weight of the line here. If I want very thin lines, I can. Click the back button here to exit symbol editing mode. I'm going to select my shape go back into my appearance panel and click on the artwork and once I do it all of a sudden will come up and apply my new shape and whenever you want to edit that just grab that shape go into your appearance panel and edit it and rotate this any direction with the cube change the size you can change the offset as well to make that funnel larger or smaller as you go through when you do this make sure you click on the map artwork and that you scale that to fit to make sure that that works. Click OK, OK. And that is how you can create that super cool funnel effect.